the hex bar. I love it for athletes, I love it for bodybuilders, I love it for safety, I love it for performance, I love it for muscle gain, I love it, I love it, I love it. Now I'm gonna show you the top five moves utilizing a hex bar. Now here is a standard hex bar. Now, when doing a hex bar deadlift and using the standard bar, if you grab it by the top handle, that is more posterior chain. Think about it like a rack lockout where you're not going all the way down. That utilizes your posterior chain, which is the back of your leg. It is the most effective posterior chain movement ever, and it also leads to, for athletes, a direct correlation in 40 yard dash speed. Now, if you turn it around and use this bottom part, you're gonna be lower, which means it's gonna be quad dominant. That's right, hits more of your quads. For athletes looking to increase their speed, use the higher one. For, for bodybuilders looking to recruit their quads in lieu, in lieu of a squat, use the lower one, the flat one. Now, I actually have a cool bar right here. It's expensive AF, but worth every penny. It's made by Prime Fitness. The reason I got this is because you can fit more weight. I can only fit five plates on there. I can fit seven, eight, nine, ten plates on here. I've only got up to seven. That's 703 pounds. It's a 73 pound bar. That bar is anywhere between 45 and 55, depending on the manufacturer. The first movement we are going to do is a hex bar deadlift. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. This is kind of at the higher bar set. You're gonna come in here now. I use straps. If you wanna build your grip strength, that's fine. My grip gives out before my back and my posterior chain. These are Versa grips. They're available on tigerfitness.com. They are awesome. Come in here. You're gonna to wanna to look at an object, an imaginary object, 10 feet in front of you on the floor. That maintains neutral spine. Focus on that object for the entire lift. Make sure your knees don't cave in. That's called valgus. You wanna push out against an imaginary object as you go up. Come in here, retract the scapula, drop the butt, chest out. Show that shirt, I wanna show the G and the E to everybody, I wanna show them to the world. Come in here. Make sure the bar is locked. Boom. Up. Always get a nice, it's a deadlift. Which means you're at a dead seat. So when you start, don't do this. Make sure your body and the bar is tight. Up. This is the ultimate movement, the hex bar deadlift. My favorite movement for athletes for increasing speed. For overall health, start with this movement, three to four sets, work up and wait, anywhere from one to eight to 10 reps. Romanian deadlift, think about the Romanian deadlift, you're not just bending at the waist, you're gonna push out at the hips. This works your hamstring and your posterior chain. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the hex bar on the low bar set, not the high bar, the low bar set. Come in here, grab it. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do it. You're bending down, pushing out at the hips, Slight bend in the knees, up. Again, neutral spine. Look at that imaginary object. 10 feet in front of you, nice and slow, and up. Let me show you from the side. Watch my butt. Okay, so you're gonna come out, push out at the butt, and up. Push out at the butt, keep that chest high, and up. Push out at the butt, and up. Hand from the back. Hit it from the back. Push the butt out, and up. Push the butt out, and up, and out, and up. So that is a Romanian deadlift. I mean, you can do this as a prime mover, or you can do this as a secondary or a finisher. Bottom line is, one of the best moves you can do for your hamstrings. You might not have thought of this, but one of the best movements for your back is a hex bar row. I know it sounds funny, but the squeeze you get at the top with the neutral grip and the wider grip, unbelievable. Don't believe me? Try this for yourself. I'm gonna go with the lower grip, not the higher grip, so you have enough range of motion. I strap up, you don't have to strap up if you don't want to. Up, up, tuck your elbows, boom, boom, side view. So we're not headlining it, down, now you're pulling back towards your waist. You're not pulling here. You almost have to rest. Your butt hits the bar. And then we'll do it from the back. Ready? Pull back. Pull back. So with a row, 
I don't want you doing this. I want you just pulling it back. So almost think of it like you're rowing a boat, like you're skiing, right? So it's like this, not like this. Great movement, wherever you want to put it. So why am I standing in a, within a hex bar on a shoulder press? It's because we're going to do an amazing form of shoulder press. You want to take a lot of risk factor out, neutral grip. How do you neutral grip? Hex bar. I told y'all, y'all don't need to go to the gym. Really, you just need this squat rack set up, some power block dumbbells. I'll link them all down below. These are from fitnessfactory.com. Squat racks from Super Fitness in Burlington, North Carolina. Power blocks are from Power Block, right? And I'll put the coupon codes and all that stuff. I don't have a coupon code for Super Fitness. He's gonna give you a deal anyway, because Steven's the man. Anyway, notice how I have it racked. Pegs are gonna be, the arms are gonna be, um, basically it's gonna be racked outside the weights, which is weird. Come in here, grab it. Okay, press, down. So there it is, you're standing straight, up, overhead. See if I can rack without dying. Did I get it, did I get it, yay! All right guys, for shoulder day, you can lead with this, or you can throw it in wherever you want. These are awesome, try them, hex bar shoulder press. Final movement for hex bar is a farmer's walk. Higher setting, now I want you to tighten your core, everything's tight, and you just walk. Now you go much heavier than this much heavier you walk pretty tough no straps i want you to use your grip your entire body's tense you're tensing your core your abs everything there's a couple ways to do this do this for steps adding weight or you just keep walking till you drop the bar in failure that is a farmer's walk that is the final movement there you go you got five total exercises that work basically your entire body using only a hex bar. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, follow me on Instagram at Marco Lobliner, on Twitter at Marco Lobliner, Facebook at Marco Lobliner. And I say Facebook twice, follow me there twice. It's that awesome. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. More coming up. Appreciate you and be sure to go to your local store, buy some outright bars, support the squad. That's not a game.